Hi, this is Carlos from Moxie Instruments. What I bring today is something very special to me, as I always wanted to have a seamless MIDI 2 CV implementation with tons of flexibility, and yes, we have it. Not only that, but anything that you see in this video works as well for MIDI input, being TRS, USB or Bluetooth, making the Oxy1 an all MIDI to CV converter. As you may know by now, Oxy1 has 8 CVs and 8 gate outputs that are fully configurable. Instead of making the routing either fixed or non-user friendly, we have taken advantage of the RGB path grid and created a configuration layout. To access it, press Shift and CV out button. Here we have 16 columns for 16 outputs. Each one defines the signal that will come out through the CB128 and gates 1 to 8. Say you want to change something in the CB output number 4. You go for the fourth column. Pretty straightforward. As you can see in the picture, this layout is split in half. The top four rows select which of the four sequencers is the source for that output. The bottom four rows determine the source of modulation in that sequencer. Let's make an example how to send pitch. For the CB output 1, I choose the sequencer number 2 that has a monophonic melody. Let's hear it. Glide, pitch bands and other pitch modulations such as vibrato will also affect the CB outputs. So now that we know how to route a signal from one of our sequencers, let's see what other options we have. From top to bottom we have the type of signal that will come out, being pitch, velocity, trigger envelopes and modulation. I'm going to add the sequencer number 3 that has a polyphonic sequence. When we have more than one voice available in the sequencer, you'll be able to select which one goes to that output. I'm going to turn on CB2 and 3, but we still don't have a trigger. The second row for the CB outputs is Velocity, in which you can choose the voice that it's coming from. The next one is something that we call Trigger Envelopes. Trigger Envelopes is an attack decay envelope that it's triggered with a note. You can choose the voice, the attack time and now the interesting part. The amplitude, attack and decay values of the envelope can be assigned to different MIDI parameters. By default, the amplitude of the envelope is proportional to the MIDI velocity and the decay time is proportional to the gate length of the node. You can connect this CV to a voltage control amplifier or any other input to have a seamless integration between MIDI and CV. You may use the trigger envelopes instead of gates to carry one whole voice, like you've been hearing so far. selects LFO or modulation lanes. Both have an offset control and will have an invert. The modulation lanes can be any MIDI message, including internal and external CC. Check this video to see how CC motion recording works. With it, you can create manual automated CV modulation. As we mentioned in the beginning of the video, external CC messages can also be routed to the CP outputs. The clock input doubles as a CV input that can modulate internal parameters in Oxy1. It's important to remark that all the MIDI that gets converted to CB is not exclusive for the CB outputs. The information of all the sequencers can be sent through CB, MIDI TRS, USB, Bluetooth or control voltage, meaning you can synchronize your modular synth with other hardware or DAW seamlessly. The gate outputs can also be used as clock divisions. In summary, with the CB out configuration layout, you get not only an intuitive and fast way of setting your analog outputs, but a completely new layer for performance over your modular rack. By being able to turn on-off outputs with the press of a button, you can create a structure, bringing voices and drums in and out.
taking into account all the powerful MIDI tools Oxy One has, like the Core Keyboard, CC Automation, and the Harmonizer mode, together with the seamless integration of MIDI to CB, makes Oxy One a powerhouse to control modular scenes like never before. Don't miss out any upcoming Oxy announcements before its launch. Subscribe and visit our forum to join the community and discover the full potential of the future of sequencing.